All right, so we, we uh, implemented the capability of being able to find out if a user already exists, right? And let me take out some, some of the breakpoints here. Uh, what we'd like to be able to do is, is, um, is move all of this uh, to, the, um, to the database, right? Notice that it's coming back with a user, right? Uh, meaning that user is already taken. Uh, so we'd like to move that functionality over to the database. So let's see what we need to do. Here, uh, here's where the code lives, right here, right? It says, and currently it's looking in a, through a, a hard-coded array of users. Instead, we should go out to the database to do this. So what we need to do here is we're going to replace this whole thing. I'm going to comment it out. Uh, instead, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to try and use the user model. We'd like to do something like this. User model dot find user by username. Okay. Uh, and this, uh, and we're going to pass the username here. And presumably this will come back with some, uh, some um, promise for letting us know that here's a response. Uh, this is going to go out uh, asynchronously to the database server and it's going to come back uh, with uh, the the user, the user object, and this user object will either be un undefined. Yes. So if I have both, I'm going to go into the database and look for the user using find user by credential. If I only have username, I'm going to look it up by username. Okay. Right. Uh, if I find it, then I'm just gonna. I, I don't really care what's in the inside, right? It's none of my business as a as a service. It's none of my business, right? My my only concern in the as a service layer, right, is that again I'm, I'm I'm I live right in the middle between two layers, right? The HTTP layer that is coming in uh, with a with a query, and I need to talk to the model, right, or whoever knows about uh, this data. It's not none of my concerns of uh, how, how to get that data. Um, I'm sorry. It, it's is uh, I know the user model knows how to find it wherever that is. Uh, so so this one is gonna just uh, respond, send back presumably this JSON object, this user. Uh, okay, and that's that's all it, it should do. Notice that we bypass all this logic of using the array. Yes. Uh, so let's see uh, the find user by ID. I'm not sure if we implemented it. Maybe. No, it's it's, it's confused with the client side <laughs> version of this, right? Um, okay, so so I don't believe we implemented that in the model. So let's go go into the model, which is right here. And did we declare it? No, we didn't even declare it. So let's implement it. Let's add it to the user model, user model dot find user by username and we are going to implement it right here. We're going to take the username. So so again all, all of these uh, are implementing different layers, right? The data layer is also uh, implementing an API between two worlds. The object world, right, that you're giving a, we're creating a thin veneer, right, that hides the fact that internally we are using mongoose, right? Or we're using a particular implementation for a database. Uh, if tomorrow we want to be able to replace our database vendor uh, and use SQL or use uh, some other or uh, Postgres or whatever, right? Each vendor will have a different API, right? And that and that's perfect, right? We can we can we can um, we have created this high level of abstraction that you just give me a username, right? And I hide the fact of whatever vendor I'm using. Uh, here, um, we're using Mongoose, uh, which has the idiosyncrasies that we need to uh, provide some filter, like that, right? And if we use SQL, it'll be a different API. If we use uh, Postgre, it'll be a different API. Uh, each, each different vendor will have a different API. Right? But we are hiding that right, with this nice little interface, right? so that everybody else doesn't have to change. The client doesn't have to change. The service layer doesn't have to change. Right? It's all hidden in here in the model. Um, all right, so there it is. So find one and filter by username. That's it. Okay. Um, I don't remember any actual users in the database. 
Uh, let's see if we can uh, find out. Um, uh, show dbs. Uh, we have here CS5610, so let's uh, use that. And we can show the collections. And right now we have the user uh, uh, collection, so we can say um, uh, db dot uh, user dot find all our users. Uh, so apparently we do have a, a an Alice, a Bob, and a Charlie. So presumably we should be able to retrieve this one Alice right here, or Bob or Charlie. All right, so so let's restart the server. Let's restart the server, and let's go back to, uh, and let's let's put a breakpoint right here in our new brand new uh, find user by username uh, database. Uh, um, access. We'll put a breakpoint right here in find. Um, this is on the client, right here, and right here. Okay, and uh, so let's try it. Let's refresh. Did I restart the server? I forget. Let's restart it. Uh, let's refresh and let's try again. Alice, Alice, register. Okay, we are on this in the server. We are in the server, and we're about to go to a database. Uh, let's uh, continue. Okay, there it is, right here. We're about to go to a database and retrieve a username Alice, okay, which is uh, the same thing as me typing at the here at the at Mongo, uh, doing some you know db dot user dot find, right with username Alice. It comes back with one object. Okay, so this is exactly the same thing, but now I'm doing it from Node.js. So I say go. Okay, there it is. Uh, there's our user. And we, when you evaluate, uh, notice that it's a, it's a, uh, uh, um, a mongoose object, uh, which is it's a, wrap, it's a wrapper around the actual object that came from the database with an ID, Alicia, Wonderland, Alice, and Alice. So that's what's going to go out to the client. And if we continue on the client side, uh, it came back with four objects? No, that makes no sense. Wait, what do we do? Response. Oh, you know what we forgot? We forgot to do a return. We forgot to do a return, so it continued, and it came back with a response of all users. Let's try that again. Let's clear this over here, and let's try it again. Register. User model, continue, user object in the data, data model, and it still comes back with four. What? Uh, response user, we only had one user here. Why are you continuing? Is it making it all the way down here? User model. Oh, I mean, this return should be out here. Meaning, come back, go back, right? I'm going to generate this response at some point. Okay, so let's restart again. Okay. Continue. Continue. Response. There it is. There's our our Alice. Okay, with with the ID, Wonderland, uh, password, uh, even the username. And the and the and the password in there. Okay, makes sense. Everybody okay. Um, all right. So, so there. So we went all all the way to the server, came back, went all the way to the database, and it found that one user. Right. What about users that don't exist? Right. So let's let's type some bogus value register. And continue. Goes out to a database, comes back, and the user is null. User is null. So if we continue, the, 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 the client comes back with null. And right? we can use this as a flag that this user doesn't, doesn't exist. We should create this user. Right? So let's, let's, uh, let's now use null uh, to now look at being able to create brand new users. Right? So let's do that next.